a young man said to be the grandson of the late Kiambu politician Janga Karume is in police custody after investigations into the death of his girlfriend continue. According to neighbors, the two had been quarreling before the man allegedly pushed the woman from the balcony of a house located on the fourth floor of the apartment in Kiambu town. Confirming the incident, Kiambu deputy OCPD Johnston Liambila said they apprehended the suspect at a nearby residential building where he had been hiding. With her, yake ilikuwa ni kama imevunjika, alikuwa mekato huku kwa mkono, alafu kuna nyuele ilikuwa mpaka imevurutu. I think aligonga ukuta na akatolewa some, some braids. No, we are following an up seriously to know exactly what happened. And um, uh, once we establish exactly that uh, is, is the, the, the suspect we have in custody is the one who is behind the death of this young girl, will definitely be taken to court. Also, the Kenya Film Classification Board has embarked on a public sensitization campaign to ensure children are protected from accessing adult content. Speaking at Isiolo, the board CEO Ezekiel Mutua said the country is currently flooded by inappropriate foreign content which promote Western ideologies that are unethical in our society. Mutua urged members of the public to take the lead role and report any person promoting indecent content. Elsewhere, Holler Town in Tana River County is set to receive a facelift following the construction of a 15-kilometer road. The project is expected to be complete in four months at a cost of 100 million shillings. Residents of Hola are upbeat the project will raise business prospects which were affected by poor infrastructure. Meanwhile, Garissa County Governor Nasif Jama is blaming the national government for withholding funds set aside to develop the agriculture sector in the region. Jama said it was unfortunate that despite a huge budgetary allocation, no project had been initiated in the region in the last three years. Finally, Kiambu County government, in partnership with Boda Boda operators Yamaha, have embarked on an empowerment project which involves importing motorbikes for the benefit of locals. Speaking while launching the initiative attended by over 300 operators from Kiambu County, Kiambu Women Representative Anna Nyokabe Gathesha noted that the partnership will be able to ensure sustainability of the trade and create a full established industry.